What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. I enjoyed this game so much, Gods of the Fallen Land, that I decided to give it another go and just continue playing it. I wanted to play another episode, okay? Sometimes I'm just like you. I get addicted to video games the exact same way where I'm like, I want to play this game more. I want to put some hours into this one. There you go. Build me another house over there, plebs. Do what you got to do, but build me another house. And then we'll put in another defensive tower down here, maybe? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, what does that do? A fox glass chunk. Has the current cooldown of skills. Okay. All right. I can live with that. Swift charm. We got a bunch of swift charms. Apparently, it just makes me more speedy. Me and my golem and my menu are going to come down here. I got my golem on follow mode right now. So we're going to light some of these cats up down here. Oh, there's a little lonely skeleton down in this direction. About to get bopped on. Ow! I've been arrowed. MSG'd. And let's see here. Any enemies around? Anybody kind of cruising around my neighborhood? Causing problems? Anybody got issues they want to start out with their boy? Yeah, there you Oh, never mind. My swiftness thing ran out. I got a lot more HP than I used to have, so that's good. I got to keep him inside my radius, otherwise he's never going to make it back to town. He's just taking his sweet time right now. How long does it take for that buff to fall off? A little while? Too long? Okay. Well, I mean, this dude is down here. Yeah, you can get you can get banged on over here. There we go. Oh, he's on fire. Nice. He's on fire. There we go. There, oh, you can excavate? What? Yeah, excavate, dude. Are you like better at excavation than everybody else is? He counts as five guys. Well, there you go. I guess. I guess I'll take the life glass shards. The minor health to enemies, allies, and buildings in a radius. Oh. Okay. How long How long you figure this is going to take you down here, pal? You think we've got enough time to get that done? I got 160-something aether up here. I can build another tower. While he's working on that, I'm going to go back over this way. Oh, no. Didn't we need the mill? I think we needed the mill, right? We've got plus eight food per day at the mill. I wonder if the general purpose guys, if they like stay general purpose. Like, will they work at the mill if I don't give them a specific assignment? Here, you guys come over here and you guys go work as farmers. Yeah, just offset my food a little bit. Go grow some stuff. I probably should have put the farm further away because now that I look at it, it's kind of ugly. What are you going to do though? What are you going to do? Uh, let's make our inner curtain wall over here. Yeah, I'll probably leave that open right there. That seems okay to me. A little bit of curtain wall action. Well, I didn't really want that internal one over there, but I guess that's life. Sometimes you can't get what you want. We'll just make like a basic wall for right now. Nothing too impressive and crazy. Wall with a couple of towers inside of it. Get it all nice and built up. We don't have a whole lot of workers. I do wish that I could help out with the jobs and stuff sometimes. But I guess that's just the way life goes. In Albuquerque. They're getting it done. I don't know how much wall is going to be officially finished off by the time that we get out of here, but it's good enough. If they get inside this little area, we got bigger problems anyways. Looks like we've only got a little bit of time left until nighttime gets here. I was really hoping we'd pick up a few more villagers before too long. I think they're going back to the stockpile to pick up resources whenever they build these walls. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. I think we're good on materials for right now. Uh, you can just go be a settler. Like, I'm pretty sure we've annihilated, like, the entire world down here, and there's not really a whole lot of resources left. Frankly, the walls didn't really cost us that much, though. I was worried that the walls were going to be expensive, but the walls were pretty cheap. Um, I do need to bulldoze these back here, though. If we could, please. They look ugly, and I don't like the way that it appears. But at least we've got a little bit of safety now. The enemy's going to have to creep and crawl around the edges before they can get to us. 
I'm hoping they finish off this side area as well really soon. What other stuff? So I want to kind of plan for the future. We've got archery over here. We've got a gate. Can you rotate the gate? Oh, you can. Okay. All right. I will probably do that then. Give ourselves a little in and out location that we can use. I'm going to see how much time I have left before I build the gate. We may not have time to get it done today. I don't know if all my settlers are filled in. What's my pop cap? 14? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to suggest we build another house over there too. How many more houses can I have? It looks like actually... I think the price of the buildings, it goes up every time you do it, but I think it resets at the beginning of each day because that only cost us 25 Aether for that one. And so, like, I'm thinking that that's the way that it works is that there's, like, a limit on how much you can build per day rather than it being kind of a permanent increase to the resource cost. Sort of an interesting way to go about it. I'll probably replace a bunch of these walls with defensive structures too. Yeah, just put that in right there. It's going to cost us some aether, but I'm okay with it. Looks like we got ourselves some more settlers too. Six more settlers to be exact. Nice. That should help us fill out some of the more important jobs around here. So like, you guys go do that. Like, If you guys can be assigned to harvesting, go be assigned to harvesting. So the harvesters are assigned. The rest of you guys become soldiers and take up the sword. And then the rest of you guys just be settlers. Just settle away, my friends. Settle away. You guys can also excavate that if it makes you feel better. Oh, they're going to drag him back to town. That's really, really cool. I like that. So they're moving him back to where they can work on him inside of relative safety. For such a simple little cheap game, dude, like, it's got little features like that that I like a lot. <laughs> Monsters are approaching from the south. Und the West. Okay. We'll be alright. The towers will take care of him. Yeah, you guys just go back to being settlers. Oh, there's stronger enemies in this one. There's like little vampires or something. I don't know what they are. Definitely tougher though. All right, well, give me my rally flag. Actually, yeah, if you guys just want to, like, float around and, like, attack, that's fine. I don't care. Like, just go do what you're going to do. Oh, no. I've been owned. After I tried so hard to not be owned. I wonder if that cost me a bunch of resources to get respawned. Hope not. blow them up for right now. I'll throw some slimes out there too. A powerful foe has appeared. Okay. Well, hopefully he drops something radical before this all gets too far out of control. Yeah, you guys get healed up a little bit. You're looking a tad rough. Perfect. I think we're going to need more defenses. I'll probably focus on developing our defenses after this fight. Oh, wow. Jesus, they weren't kidding. Okay, that is a powerful foe. That's a big dude. Alright, heal everybody up real fast.
Ow. Okay. I'm dead again. I've been very dead lately. Over here, over here. You guys come with me. Get healed up. Ow, dude, that stun. I would say probably get rid of the stuns. The stuns are a little gratuitous. And like moderately annoying, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't think they're necessary. God, that did like nothing. Soldier Burley Berkeley has died. Oh man. Poor Burley. We were such good friends. Like, I'm terrified to go near this dude. Like, I just don't know how to get around his stun. Like, he basically insta one shots you. Dude, there's so many archers over here. Oh, not good. Yeah, I can't even clear them out. Good God. Wow. What does that do? Blessing of Vigor. I gotta get rid of some of these archers. They are too many. Something tells me I should have taken archers at some point. Oh, I'm stunned, I think. There we go. Alright, we'll put that down right there. Can't seem to hurt the big bastard. Yeah, we should probably fight for our lives right about now because that seems to be the stakes that we're operating inside of. Oh, the big guy stays. He doesn't leave when the when the raid is over. Okay. Alright. Nothing seems to hurt him. I'll take the life shards, but... There we go. Finish him off. Finish him off. Oh, the big dudes are down. That gave us a hundred aether right there, and we recovered a relic. Okay. I don't know what a relic does, but I will take it. Good lord. I want to know what that is. What is that? A golem core? Single use item that builds a golem? Yeah, give me another golem over here. I hope I get something good out of there. Because if I don't get something good out of there, we got problems. Yeah, you dudes build away. Uh, we got big issues today. I don't think we're going to survive tonight. It seems unlikely to me. Hey, come with me. You need to stand over here by the crystal. There you go. Get healed up. I got to rebuild my forces slightly. Alright, so I've got my own little soldiers following me around now. I've got a sneaking suspicion that we're going to need, like, a lot more, a lot more goodies around here. They're almost done with the golem. Yeah, let's, like, rebuild the wall, shall we?
Yeah, just get it done. We have a great many things to get finished off today. And unfortunately, I'm not holding out a lot of hope that they're going to get finished at a rate that is satisfying. Oh, never mind. It doesn't reset. I, I called it wrong in the previous episode. I just didn't have a chance to look at it again, but that time around, it's looking all right. Uh, we just don't have enough aether. I'm going to bring my soldiers with me. Oh, they're active during the daytime now. Yeah, that's fun. There you go. Put some holy ground down. Slow this dude up. This would be a lot easier if all my stuff hadn't been destroyed. Oh, they've got wazards and stuff back here too. And they're slowing me. Yay. Okay. Uh never mind, I'm dead again. Yeah, that difficulty curve doesn't care. That's a pretty vicious little curve. Yeah, they need to get rid of all the little stuns that all the mega enemies have. Like, getting stunned every single time you try to fight somebody, it's just kind of, eh. It's a break in the, I think it's a, it's a break in the action that is not super enjoyable or necessary. Because the enemies already have pretty beefy health pools. Yes, more of that. You want to pull him back inside the walls for me, please? Uh, you guys go back to being settlers for a little bit. I need more builders. We have many, many things that need to be accomplished today. And unfortunately, I don't think they're going to get accomplished. Yep, just keep them walls constructing. Anything that'll protect us. Grants protection to those. Oh, really? We can have a shield, too. Okay, what's that little claw emblem over there? I don't really care about these, so I'm going to get rid of them. There you go. That's going to be super annoying for like eight seconds, but damages foes around. Yeah, that's way more useful. I want those. I find those to be highly more attractive. And once we get the walls all up and rocking, I think we should be okay. We've got another building that we put in over there too. So that's good. That'll give us a few more villagers. Unfortunately, I think with all the destruction we took on that last fight, I think we're behind the curve now. And I think that's how the game's going to get us. But I learned a lot of lessons this time playing through. And so there's things that I would do very, very differently next time it's okay though we're gonna play this as it lies and hopefully we come out the other end valiant i was gonna say alive but i don't think alive is gonna happen here this doesn't strike me as a situation where aliveness is a factor this strikes me as a situation where like eh, we're gonna die we just have to decide how well we die there's treasure chests and stuff around i should probably be more aggressive with those like digging up treasure chests and whatnot I think it's a valid option. Uh, you guys don't have any harvesting to do anyways. Come back over here. And then, like, you guys come with me. We're going to dig up some treasure chests for more aether. There you go. Go dig that out. And then you guys. Do we have any more excavation spots over here? We got one down here. All right, we'll go get this one real fast. And then we should be up and out of here, I hope. I don't know. Go break that down. I don't know what it is, but go break it. Maybe you can finish it before nightfall. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys run. You guys run. Run back with me. Flee. Flee for your lives. Fleeing for your lives is incredibly important right now. I need you to flee for your lives. If you don't flee for your lives, bad things are going to happen to us. And I need you to flee for your lives. Alright? 
If you enjoy being alive, flee for your life. Ow. Well, that worked out pretty good for a second until I got, like, owned instantly. I was trying to get as much damage off as I could while we were there. Apparently, Saxon Beckwith has died, unfortunately. With the daytime attacks, it's going to be kind of tough to... I'm not entirely certain what that did for me, but I'm not going to question it. Suppression Ward Archetype. A reusable item builds a defensive ward that slows all enemies in the radius. Okay. Well, it's something. Guess what? You're dead. Have fun with that. Did you guys get this treasure chest dug up over here? Please, God, tell me you got this treasure chest dug up. Yeah, bring that back to base camp, and then we'll convert some of you into soldiers. And we've got enough over here for another tower. Which I personally think is a really good idea. Oh, we got two treasure chests now. Okay, you guys go be soldiers for now. I'm gonna whack both these until we get insane amounts of aether. Yeah, I think the treasure chests are gonna be pretty important. And then you guys... Oh, I don't know. few more towers, I guess. Yeah, get all that stuff finished off. I don't care about this dude. This dude is not important. Like, in our overall strategy, these guys are not majorly important. But the towers... The towers are immensely important. We have to have those. If those don't get done, we have major, major issues. Alright, give me a rally flag. Right here. Alright, all that stuff is built. Uh, we'll run the memento. What is that, a blade charm? Hell yeah, let's do that. I like blade charms. We'll blade and shield it up. These guys definitely look a little tougher. I think it would be advantageous to keep all these guys off of our walls. They are doing some pretty good damage right now, though. What is that? Another shield charm? Nice, dude. More shield charms. The more shield charms, the better. I definitely need, like, all you guys dead. Alright. Uh, what else we got? Shield charm? Yeah, let's do it. Shield charm, blade charm? Yup. Ow. Okay. So that hurt a little bit, but I think we'll be alright. I just gotta fall back and get healed now. Towers, I don't suppose you want to weigh in on this one down here, do you? I think our defenses are actually decent this time around. Like, they're not great. Oh, there's another big dude. Oh, no. Oh, everything about this is terrible. Yeah, we'll just holy ground him. Give everybody some renewed vigor. All 
Alright, fall back, fall back, fall back. I'm respawning. We need this dude to be getting hit by the towers. Yeah, come with me, come with me. We need the towers to be doing most of the heavy lifting here. Fall back. Yeah, let them, like, be on the walls for a minute. You guys heal. Oh my goodness. The good news is he's taking damage, so that's nice. I'm already dead again, though, which is not the worst thing that's ever happened. I've been dead before. I assume that I will be dead again. Uh, you guys fall back this way. Just, like, let them be on the walls for a minute. It's fine. They're not doing that much damage anyways. Some of these archers definitely got to go, though. All right, so we'll clear out some of the archers along the back line. I think we're going to have to get archers of our own during today's build phase. I don't think that's going to be negotiable. But I do think we did a good job over here. Like, considering how badly this all started out, I think we did okay. Alright, everybody inside the little Healy Zone. Hey, Healy Zone. Stop wandering off, you idiots. Back inside the Healy Zone. Yeah, we actually made up for a lot of lost ground right there, so I think the treasure chests are fairly important to the overall strategy of the game. Like, I think you have to pick up the treasure chest in order to get enough Aether to have, like, mass build segments. So, like, I, I think that's what I missed. But we played catch-up by grabbing a couple in one day, and we have a thousand Aether now. And actually, materials are the problem at this point. Alright, so these dudes are good. Uh, we can officially, like, drop them somewhere else. Uh, I need you guys to become settlers. We don't have any settlers left, so we'll put you guys back on soldiering tomorrow, but fix everything up, get all the walls repaired, get everything looking, you know, squared away, high and tight, all that fun stuff, and then we'll figure out who's going to go and be a, a harvester, I guess, after that. So you guys harvest. Uh, you dudes, go haul that dude. few more swift charms. I don't really need the swift charms, but there you go. Yeah, pull the dead guy back inside the village. We'll harvest him for more materials. Another relic recovered, so that's good. Yep, you guys lift and do your thing. Excavate away. I hope it's worth the work. It's going to have to be, bro. It's going to have to be. You guys go be soldiers, hang out on the front lines. Oh, they're bringing him back now, too? God. We that was a hell of a fight. I'm surprised we pulled through that one in one piece. Honestly, I really, really am. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to put an archery tower back over somewhere. I guess not, actually. Why can't I have an archery tower? It's a garrison add-on. Oh, it has to be added onto the... Oh, gross. Okay, I wish I had known about that beforehand, but that's life, I suppose. Put another house over there. Put an archer tower right there. Good. We're getting a bunch of materials off these dead dudes over here, so that's great. What is that right there? Banishment? Damages enemies by one-third of their max health and debuffs all enemies inflicts a lengthy stun. Leaves you extremely vulnerable while casting. Okay. Good to know. I believe we will more than likely have more enemies coming soon. What does that do? An oratory? You can attach it to a chapel? Okay. We've also got the smithy. Where does the smithy go? What's that an upgrade to? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, do that. Apparently, I can be the Forge Master now when we start a new game. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This is Gods of a Fallen Land. I hope you guys really liked it. Like, honestly, I've been enjoying this game, Gods of the Fallen Land. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. How you doing? Take care, everybody. Uh, I will have something fresh for you tomorrow, hot off the grill. Hope you're excited about it. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out as a content creator pretty tremendously, in all honesty. It really sincerely does. I will see you all later. Hi, do, and take care.